Welcome back to the Hermitcraft Mod Sauce server. And yes, we are finally on 1.7.10. Still working some bugs out, but it's getting much closer to release time. Now, in the process of all of this, all the stuff had to be torn down. All the machines and uh, the mods and this thing had to be torn down and so on. I'm just now getting everything all set back up. And uh, since there was a problem with, oh, what's that, industrial craft, it's not in anymore. So the industrial craft generators are no more. And so I'm working out a way to uh, power all these things with this, the furnace generator. Now, I do know I can pop that in there and start generating power. And because this is touching it, it should, I hope, start actually uh, charging. So we'll find out about that. It's building up a charge of its own. All right, while that's charging up, something else. In some of my recent explorations, trying to find things and whatnot, I came up with an enchantment table. And I also came up with a division sigil. So I'm going to set this thing over here. Now for this thing, it says you have to sneak right click on an enchanting table for more details. So sneak right click. Oh, okay. Let me bring that back. It can see, okay. All right. I figured out what I was doing wrong here. All right. With the division sigil. Pop that here. Pop a diamond here. Pop iron ingot there. What? You're, you're kidding me. That was totally screwed up. Okay, I'm going to have to find another one of those things. And apparently the activation thing needs to be done first. And that would be the event where uh, it produces a crap load of cursed earth. Or some cursed earth, whatever. Anyway, I figured out also that in order for this to power this stuff, I need to more than just transfer pipe. I mean, I can pop a transfer pipe on here, and it'll attach to that, but it won't attach to this, at least not until I get some kind of a, uh, I believe it's a... transfer node, this kind. And for that, I have to build it in this QED thing. The QED, which apparently has a different name every time you bring this up, Ender-Infused Obsidian, and a Diamond Etched Computational Matrix, which is Burnt Quartz, and more Ender-Infused Obsidian. So, I've Got some burnt quartz, some obsidian, some ender pearls, ender infused obsidian. All right, just one of those, please. And uh, now let's take this part. Oh, need a crafting table. And some eyes of ender. Now I'm I got one blaze powder here. I should have some more, at least a few blaze rods or something. Oh boy, not looking forward to going to the Nether just at the moment. Also, don't want to use this, but I think I'm going to have to this combustion generator thing. All right, how about this? I'll pop this there. All 
All right. There is some weird glitching with the chest. You can see how they don't always look solid. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, let's see. We'll put the DNA breeder here. And that part there. Actually, I don't need those pieces right at the moment. What am I thinking? Okay, obviously, I'm not. I don't need those pieces right now. I just need to throw some coal in that piece. So that it will fire up the centrifuge. Alright. Because... Two more genes that I got a hold of. Shoot fireballs and swim in lava. And I am absolutely going to... Oh, I am going to need the combiner. All right, so we'll just set the combiner up against this thing so that it will charge. Oh. There. All right, now let's get my syringe of blood. Pop that up here. Put swimming lava in there. Get it centrifuged and injected. And then draw another sample and put shoot fireballs in there. And then I will go into the nether and see about coming up with some more blaze rods. Because I'm going to need at least a few. I inject that, draw a new sample, centrifuge it. Ugh. All right, and then the shoot fireballs gene. Go ahead and get that enabled. And then it will be time to put all this stuff away and head into the nether. And come up with some more blaze rods. At least a few. And let's fix the floor while I'm at it. Okay. Draw another sample. Centrifuge that while the nausea goes away and I try really hard not to look at it. And this one goes there. Those I need to get rid of and make new samples. I am going to make a couple of fresh spare samples. And I'll throw one of them in there and put this one up there. Okay. Alright, now I'm off to gather blaze rods. Okay, here we are, and there's a beautiful lava mess here. So I figured this would be a good time to test the swimming lava thing. It's making the annoying ticking sound. And that annoying jerky thing, but I'm not taking any damage from it. Moving very slow in the lava, of course. Alright, now let's try shoot fireballs. Oh, yeah! Alright, time to go ahead for finding some blaze. Whoops. Climb walls thing isn't always good. Oh, yeah? Okay. Oh, boy. Alright, let's see if we can find some blaze. You'd think they'd be easy to find.
since they now spawn pretty much anywhere in the nether. And not just at a blaze spawner in the fortress. And yeah, I want that. Let's try this bow. Get a gas tear out of that. Uh, apparently not. Oops. Gotta watch the health here. Alright. I'm gonna cruise around here, see if I can find myself a blaze rod or two, maybe some more ardite and cobalt, like just down here. And I'll be back. Alright. That was probably one of the most uneventful nether trips I've had in quite a while. I mean, uh, I got some stuff. I got uh, another 18 cobalt, another 13 ardite, some glowstone, glowstone dust, nether quartz, and... Well, because this uh, hammer has silk on it. And some of those bone segments and so on. I even picked up a couple of gas tears because this bow proved to be reasonably effective against gas. But the one that I didn't find was any blaze. And I found that to be kind of odd. All right, so that means I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm going to go hunting around for more blaze. Even found these things. I don't know what the what they're for, but they're biomes of plenty, so I'll go ahead and keep them. They might be useful for something. I'm sure they are. They wouldn't exist. All right, I am off back to the Nether in search of Blaze. Oh, right. It's taken me quite a while, and while I was doing things, I've started. Uh, fixing things up a little bit, replacing the cobblestone and working on the walls out here and so on and getting a stone brick floor all the way in and so on and setting up to do what I'm calling blaze rods the hard way and it is blaze rods the hard way because in all the time I spent in the nether and I tell you what I spent well over an hour flying around in the nether and I didn't find any blaze at all not one I don't know what's going on with that but over an hour almost an hour and a half I think all total between two or three trips and I didn't find a single blaze in the nether anywhere I don't know what the heck is going on with that but anyway getting set up here we need these tin gears and I'm thinking that's enough, I'm hoping. We need some of these uh, machine frames, and I know that's more than enough. And apparently I set up two tables with those. Okay. And then, of course, there's those guys. Some redstone, some more gold. And let's make sure... That we can make more than we need. Alright, uh, and some copper gears. Let's get some more iron and some more copper. To make sure there's more than enough of those. Okay, and up here, we put all this together. And we end up with a pulverizer. Alright, that's part of it. And then we need a leadstone energy cell. And then we take that leadstone energy cell. Okay, I got more than enough. Uh, 
Okay. What am I missing here? Probably another of those machine frames. Yeah. Magma crucible. And here, a fluid transposer. And here, a couple of portable tanks. All right. Now, and there's this thing, a generator, that has power in it. Take the coal out. And I'm going to see if this crescent hammer, if I shift click, shift right click, it doesn't do anything. Okay, so I'm going to leave the thing where it is. And we'll start out, let's see. All right, here's the thing I found for blaze. Blaze powder. And there's the normal way to get it. And here's another way with blaze fish, nether droplets, and blaze powder to get blaze rods. Apparently. Oh no. Blaze fish drop nether plot droplets and blaze powder. Okay. And then there's pulverizer with blaze rods. Yeah. And a chance of sulfur. And then a fluid transposer, destabilized redstone into glowstone dust equals blaze powder. Now, how about that? It still isn't blaze rods. Let's see. Crucible furnace, raw blaze fish, fish oil, and blaze rods. 5% chance. Uh, raw blaze fish. I have no idea even where you would look for those, let alone how to catch them and deal with them. All right. So, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, and I'm really hoping I do, otherwise this is going to be really stupid, then, uh, let's see. Magma Crucible. Are you charging up? Yes, you are. Good, good. Magma crucible. Okay, now we need some redstone. I have plenty more in here. Alright. And we need to destabilize some redstone. So I'm going to destabilize some of this redstone while that's cooking. Let's make the top an output. And run that into the tank. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to take some time. I'm going to fill that tank of redstone, and we'll go to the next step. All right. The machine is done filling the tank. I do believe we'll shift right click. Crescent hammer will pick up that tank. Good. All right. Now let's see. Fluid transposer. And I'll be honest with you, by the way, I don't rightly remember why it was. I felt I needed a pulverizer in this stage of the game because I don't. But when I started doing all this and gathering the resources to do this thing, that was about nine hours ago in real time. So I don't remember. I've slept since then. All right, let's pop this down. Or will it gain a charge from the machine next door to it? Apparently it won't, so... Let's... Wrench this thing down. We'll wrench that thing down. And we'll put the transposer up. It will begin charging. Put the tank up there. Wrench it so that it is now outputting into the machine. There we go. All right. Now we just need some glowstone. Where did I put it? I know I've got several stacks of glowstone dust. Ah, here we are. Glowstone dust. Pop that in there. Destabilized redstone goes into it. And we get blaze powder. 
All right, that's right there. More than enough blaze powder for what I needed. And yeah, I went through all of that to come up with a little bit of blaze powder because I needed some eyes of ender. And that's probably more than I need. Now I can take the obsidian, ender infused obsidian, the diamond edge computational matrix, the burnt quartz, the obsidian, and I think that's it. Maybe a crafting table. Take that out of there. And by the way, the paintbrush and this floral white powder, which you get that by taking these uh, these white flowers and you craft them into these white petals. And then you use the pestle and mortar with the white petals and bang, you've got white powder, which with the paintbrush qualifies as white dye and I believe it works that way with all the different colors of Batania flowers so that's good took me a while to figure that one out too so we've got our QED thing which has an annoying habit of a different name every time you click on it in NEI alright we finally have that and we need something else here which is this thing. Oh, for crying out loud, I guess I needed a little bit more blaze powder. Ender infused obsidian. I need four blocks for each one of those. How much do I have? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Ender pearls. Plenty of obsidian. Now we have ender infused obsidian. Okay. And that actually should be enough of those. All right. Now. Oh, I don't suppose I can break this and still have the energy in it. Okay. The energy's been going straight up into oh, this thing, which it is now full. So, okay, I just break the doggone thing. All right. We'll just set this over here temporarily until we get a more permanent home for it. We need... Wait a minute. Where's my generator? I broke the doggone thing. Where is it? Let me guess. It went down below. Yep. Alright. Okay. Set down the generator. Let's put the QED in the floor in front of it for time being. And then we need these guys. And throw some coal in the generator. Or charcoal, whatever. Generating power. Now, presumably, this is supposed to work. This is supposed to get this able to do something. It doesn't look like it is just yet. I'm going to let this generator charge up, and I'll be back. Okay, this thing's got the charge in it. I still can't tell anything whether or not this needs to build up a charge or what. But here's the reason for needing that, which is the reason we needed all this other. First, I need to make five of these speed upgrades. And then three of them have to go in there. Bang. And now, transfer node, energy. That is the thing that I need to make. Energy transfer node, 
so that uh, the transfer pipe, specifically mostly the power transfer pipe from extra utilities, will be able to find where it needs to send the power. All right. So we've got... No, wait, 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 wait. Still got to put that together. Okay. Okay, so six redstone and those bang. Now we'll put this assembly together. And I'm going to be really kind of annoyed if this doesn't work. Okay, it's crafting it. And I can see a particle effect and sort of hear a sound effect that goes with that. Or maybe that's just... No, that's not the generator. It's not running. So that's got to be the whole ender thing here that's making that noise. The noise that I can almost sort of kind of hear. Okay. All of that to come up with this. So that... And I'm probably going to end up breaking that, but maybe not. So that I could run power lines from one from a generator possibly situated situated down below over here to all of these things and so on Let's see where is it, where is it? Where is it? oh come on i know i made some of that stuff there it is Full stack of it staring me right in the face. All right. So if I hook this up to the generator, that obviously works. And I'm going to do a very ugly temporary thing here. I'm not quite sure where the transfer need, node needs to go in this thing, so I'm going to experiment a little bit. Take transfer node, throw it there, these machines are still not powering up. Searching for inventories. Holding zero RF. Ah. You see, the way I understood it, these things are supposed to connect to machines and uh, transfer power. And it's kind of necessary that something like this works in order to uh, power these machines and other machines, not just these, but plenty of others as time goes on. Now, obviously, I've got something wrong here. So let's just try this. Let's put the node on the machine. You 
You see, it wants to connect to the inventory on the chest just fine. But it doesn't want to have anything to do with the advanced genetic machine. Now, I don't know if that's something I, of an oversight on my part, or just simply that these extra utilities energy pipes don't talk to advanced genetic machines at all. I don't know. So I'm looking for input on that. I really don't want to have to use those, uh, I don't know where it is now, but advanced genetic machines. Oh, this thing, the combustion generator. I, I really don't want to use that thing if I can help it, because frankly, it's annoying. It runs even when there is no power being drawn on it, and it just eats up fuel like crazy. So I'd rather not use that if I can avoid it. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to tear this mess down, and I'm looking for input. Exactly how do I do this? How do I get this to work? This energy pipe and the energy transfer with extra utilities pipes. It looks like a great way to go, but I am obviously not doing it right. And uh, this is more than just a little bit annoying. And I haven't found anything so far that explains it to any satisfactory degree. So I'm going to leave it to you guys to let me know what's going on, what it is I'm doing wrong, and how I can get this thing fixed and running right. In the meantime, temperature is rising, and I am going to get this done and go sit in front of a fan. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.